Welcome to Latin Nation, celebrating your generation from coast to coast. I'm your host, Humberto Guida. And I love it when musicians make a stand for something they believe in. And when I think of a socially conscious, even activist band that practices what they preach and puts their values up front, I think of Southern California's own Chicano Batman. They are four garage punk Latinos who, for the better part of a decade, have steadily built a devoted fan base in East LA. But lately, they've also emerged as the perfect voice of what they call the resistance. Through their latest album, Freedom is Free, and most notably, a landmark Johnny Walker campaign featuring their music as the backdrop, Chicano Batman imposes a much needed voice onto the landscape of American culture, and they continue to do it right here on Latin Nation. Sessions is presented by McDonald's. Hello, we are Chicano Batman. My name is Bardo Martinez. Uh, I'm the singer. I'm Carlos Arevalo. I play guitar. I'm Gabriel Villa. I'm the drummer. Y el otro día la vi el apartamento. El otro día la vi me puse menso. When I was growing up in Colombia, we were listening to like English bands. Uh, I love Queen. I love. David Bowie. My influences were probably Jimi Hendrix, this band called Television. I feel like the message of our music is peace and love. It's, 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 uh, the message is, is unity. The message is, is that everything that happens in the universe happens in ourselves. Johnny Walker approached us about doing the ad for them, and um, we really appreciated the idea of really promoting diversity during times like these. So yeah, we, we jumped on the uh, Keep Walking America campaign. So we had watched some of their other videos, and there was just you know like migrant workers talking about their own, like singing this land. It's basically revolved around this land is your land, like basically making a claim to like the United States. The political situation is very tough, um, and it has always been. And uh, the message has always been just as pertinent. You know, there's been a, a lack of diversity in, in the media, lack of representation of Latinos, etc. Uh, particularly in like mainstream, you know, English-speaking media. And so uh, the point is to say, hey, uh, you in the Midwest over there, we also I speak English just like you, and I grew up in this country just like you. And so unfortunately. People tend to look at the glasses half empty as opposed to half full. So I feel like this is part of the process of saying that the, the, the glass is actually half full, everybody. Let's drink the water. You got an open heart, so you share what's inside, thinking that all is said in confidence, but then you realize. Everybody migrated, you know, even Native Americans that came here, you know what I'm saying? Like, humans are constantly moving. And, and moving and, and moving and moving, right? Since that's, that's, the, that's the reality of every living thing. So, um, you know, these borders that people have created haven't been there for very long, everybody. We've been here for uh, three million years or something like that. Those borders just started being built like 12,000 years ago or something, you know? So it's uh, the political situations are the way they are because, you know, uh, people made them that way, not, not nature. I would just say, you know, the message that that we would like to compart to the world is that, you know, it's everything, you know, what we feel, okay, the way we synthesize the world, you know, has been really built in our minds. Like we've been taught to think of everything in our heads and to like rationalize and to comp compartmentalize and to put things in boxes. There's so many things that we have to unlearn, you know, growing up. And I would say, do that and just breathe. Just be yourself, really just be yourself. 